Hello fishing friends, this is Matthew with Out Fishing 13. Right now my dad and I are out here. It's a nice Monday afternoon, 2nd of November, and we're fishing for white bass at the mouth of uh, the Provo Boat Harbor. There's six of them in a row. Six guys, six fish. Okay, so we've already been fishing for about 10 minutes. Dad's got his sixth fish in a row. So I, I might have to compete with him a little bit, but Anyways, if you like the video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. We're having a great time, uh, and we're going to catch a bunch. So watch the footage and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and have a great day. All right. Wait a second. You can tighten that drag a little bit. Other way. Wow, two casts, two fish. Out there in the channel, you got to let it sink. Just a few seconds. Let's sink a little bit. That's a pretty good size, actually. Yeah. For panfish. Yeah, it's a nice one. It'd be interesting if you had a cast net. <laughs> I do have a cast net, but. All right, catch another one. I'm gonna go fix up my reel. No, no more bites, two casts and no bites. What's the matter? You better cast again. <laughs> Wait. Scale these and cook them whole. You know, I haven't. Um, I've never done that. You got another one? You got a bite? I was thinking about it. How did you cook them up? Would you just scale them and then roll them in full? It's been years since we've done these. They would cook good whole if you want to do that. Just with the head and everything? No, you, you'd. Uh, You'd go ahead and uh, fish on. That one followed it in. He come in pretty close. You want to try something fun? What about that little tadpole? <laughs> you want to try that little tadpole? Oh, this is fine. All right. They're fat though, Dad. I mean, those are those are 11, nearly 12 inches long. Those are half again as big as the ones we normally catch in the spring. Plenty of them out there. Yep. Sure, pretty day. Beautiful day. Got another one. Two casts, two fish. I got it figured out. <laughs> is this is this the water looks quite clear? Is this unusual or is this the way it normally is? Well, Dad, you only have about twelve inches of visibility. Yeah, I know, but it, it seems like it's it's clear because it hasn't blown so much. Them are great little fan fish. They'd be good to eat. Yeah, we'll fry them up. Super good. What? Four casts, four, four fish? Cast, four fish. Wow, and they're fatter than hogs. Those are fat, fat, fat. Or is, is this bigger than usual? Yes. Five in a row. That's pretty good, Dad. Seven in a row. All right, seven in a row. Here it goes. Well, Let's see if. A very good cast that time. 
Nice. Yeah, I've been catching all mine though, just seven or eight feet from shore. Well, I've been letting it settle the bottom and digging it a little bit. They like that. They seem to. Oh, there's another one, that's seven in a row. All right, seven in a row. Maybe my tadpole won't work so I'm great. Not gonna get any better than this. <laughs> They're little scrappers though, aren't they? You need to loosen your drag just a little bit and play them some. Well, you got a good little spot, you reel them up there. Just for fun, I put on my little tadpole. I'm gonna give it a try, see if I can get something to come up and smack it. Dad's fishing off the bottom. I'm gonna fish off the top a little bit. Hoist him up there. Yeah. Well, you gotta go farther than that, Dad. <laughs> I might have a pair of pliers. Do we need pliers, Fred? Helicopter was that Fred? Was that an Apache? Let me go see what I got, Fred. I think I've got a pair of long needle nose pliers. I never believe you could catch fish down here like this. This is crazy. It sounds to me like you're not need to go nowhere other than just here to catch fish. <laughs> You bet had him. Try again. There he is. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. Hoist him up there, Dad. Winch him up there, Dad. What a nice fish. I like him anymore. <laughs> You got the lucky lure, Dad. No, I just keep it alone. You don't have to throw out there. Uh, let it sink down right there, Fred. And just jig it a little bit. But when you get it in there a little bit farther, let it sink down. That's it. Every time I let it sink down, they 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 glom onto it. Red. I think they do. They're tired. Tired of. <laughs> Get him in there, Fred. Get to make a good fillet, too. Oh, he's too bad. This is just absolutely ridiculous. 
remember if they're flat like this. Even if they aren't very big. That's very agreeable. <laughs> Let's sit for a minute and see if it goes on. Okay, here. stop. I'm not even going to stick the jig on. Wiggle it a little okay, bit. Wiggle it a little bit. Just jerk it a little bit. Okay, now reel in a little bit. Reel it up. Reel your line up. I'll live the Eagle River for 14 days. Oh, that's a great place. I'm Look at done. that, I didn't even have a rubber on. Oh, I'm glad you had to come up and take oh, some. I got one. I got one. I'm glad I got the car. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think it would be this good. Okay, get to your dad. Bring it over here, stick it over here, I'll take it off. Good job. Look at that. Man, you're a good fisherman. Uh, catch one. Catch another stick one. Stick out there again. You don't even need the cat. Okay, Fred. When you're ready to go, I'll come up there and give you a ride back to your car. Oh, okay. So my wife doesn't even know I think this. I'll get out a little deeper than that. She's going to say, what are you doing? Throw it out there a little bit farther, Gideon. You don't need to walk out there. Stand right there. Yeah, stand, Gideon. Stand back here on that rock. Here, come, come back. You'll ruin our day if we fall in and get soaking wet. You'll have to go home. Listen to him, okay? Stand right here. Besides, that rock isn't very stable. Okay, cast it out from right there, okay? Reel it all the way in. And cast it out. Ready? Don't go out too far. You don't need to go out that far. Okay. Well, here you go. Okay, reel it up a little bit. Okay, stop. Okay, there. Oh, here we go. Stop. Right there. There, jerk it. You got a fish on there. Get him in here. You got him. Okay, yeah, thanks. I love those. That, All right, that. I'm more there, Dad. I'm going to take it off. Hey, Dad, I got one. Man, you're the best fisherman ever. <laughs> Poor ducks. What are they doing? Over Shooting here? ducks. Okay, Gideon, turn your reel over. Turn your pole over. You got it upside down. Okay. That's good. Cock it. You need to reel it in a little bit, though. You need to cock it. Get in. Listen to him. You need to reel it in your pole a little bit. Reel it in. There you go. Okay, reel it all the way in and cast it out there again. One of my rubbers probably in one of their mouths because they come off when you take them off. Very good. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That was a good cast, Gideon. Reel it in slowly and stop once in a while and give it a little, give the tip a jerk. There you go. And reel it in. Stop. Now give it a couple little jerks. There you go. Now reel it in. Just one way, Gideon. You don't need to do both ways. Now reel it in. Tighten up your line. See your line's got all those curls in it. Get those curls out. Reel it in. Good job. Watch your bobber. Okay, reel it in. Get all the slack. Take up all the slack, Gideon. Gideon, take up all your slack. See all that slack in your line? That's all the loose parts. Reel it in. Yeah, Get reel it in. in. There you go. Take up all the loose stuff so your line is straight. More. Take in more. More, reel in more. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Just keep reeling. Okay, reel it all. Uh, keep reeling. Oh, you got a fish on. Reel in fast. Reel in fast, fast, fast. There you you got, got him. Ooh. Oh, he came off. Reel it in and cast out again. Try again, Gideon. <laughs> Perfect. Jerk. Reel in until your line's tight. Okay, we're, stop right there. Wiggle a little bit. Jerk. Jerk. Oh. Fiber goes down. Jerk. 
Okay, just hold on right there. Hold on, wait till you... Tighten up your line. Tighten up your line, get in. Reel in. That's what it means by tighten your line. Reel it in. There you go. Good. Now just wait it right, right there. Reel it a little bit. Okay, reel it in the rest of the way and Keep cast out. Jerk the line. You got a fish on there. Whoa, that's three in a row for Gideon. <laughs> And this is number 65. <laughs> sure, Dad. Are you trying to catch your age? <laughs> Just about. I got 10 more to go. <laughs> All right, cast I thought it you were there. 10 over. <laughs> really, a little bit and cast it out. There, there a week ago, I got gout in my foot and it just about. You've caught enough now? Okay, that's the last one for me. All right, well. You want to do one more for Gideon on your camera? No, I got plenty. Well, that was awesome. We found the fish out here at the mouth of Provo Harbor and slayed them. It's just fish after fish after fish after fish. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'm nearly to a thousand viewers and I bet you I could sit out here and catch a thousand fish for every subscriber. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Make sure you have a great day next time you go fishing. You want to say something? So? That's fishing. I'll grab your pole for That's you. That's fishing, huh?